All right, there we are. <clears throat> well, uh, good morning, Nantucket. This is the Monday, April 25th, 2022 meeting of the Wisconsin Advisory Board. Uh, my name is Rob Benchley and members, when I call your name, please respond. Angus McLeod. Here. Thank you. Who else? Uh, oh, Caroline Ellis. No. Mary Lathrop Will. Here. Here. Clement Durkis. Here. There we are. And uh, we have four. Oh, there's, here comes Caroline. Caroline's here. Oh, good. Excellent. Thank you, Caroline. Nice to, nice to see your name on the screen. Okay, so this is, uh, like I said, that uh, Monday, April 25th, meeting of the Wisconsin Advisory Board uh, being held remotely via Zoom through the town's website. And um, if you're participating in this meeting, please remember that uh, this is being recorded. And uh, for people who would like to speak for the public, please announce yourself and your name and speak clearly. Okay, thank you. With all that, uh, let's see. Um, I will take a motion for the adoption of the agenda. And if you wait one second, I'll throw it up there. There it be. And so moved. Adopt the agenda. Great. Thank you. Second. second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Everybody's saying yes, including myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, item number one, 28 Main has uh, gone back to the applicant for revision, so we don't have it today. Aye. Um, and. Well, we request that it stays on for next week. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The Lion Gate. The, the Lion's Gate, yes. Uh, that looked interesting. Okay, so uh, under new business, uh, number one is Five Stone Post Way. And I'm going to try to get that on there. There it is. Here we are. Do you see the... Uh, GIS map on your screens. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. thank you. Good. So there's uh, Stone Post Way. And I'm going to scroll down, come in here a little bit. Oops. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So the uh, pool is going to the rear of the property. Pool's going to the rear, yes. Next to the garage, which will become what, a cabana? Sort of, yeah, it'll get decked out of there. Existing garage guest house, yeah. And so this, I, I, I looked at the application. So this is for the pool and the fencing. If mm -hmm. I and which is. fencing? Oh, uh, they're giving us options. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's. Mm, here we go. <laughs> right. So there's a combination of board fencing and deer fencing and privet, I guess. Uh, I have two fencing, harbor fencing. Yeah, uh, stone post way, okay. It, it's in different places, I think, Rob. Yeah, okay. The deer fencing is on the back. You see the red arrow? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then it, there's another arrow above that that says board fencing proposed. Okay, there's the deer fence. Yep. And see, there's the proposed board. Okay, good. Yeah. Fence. Yeah. Okay. And then way up, there's still more deer fencing. <laughs> Over here, yeah. So it does the perimeter, the back perimeter, I suppose. Gotcha. And then there's the board fence again with the gate near the guest house. Oh, right oh. here. There it is. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. And back over here as well. Yep. Do we see anything? That's arcing? Because it says gravel. Is that? On the front of the house. Okay, here's the gate. With the arbor. Okay. And then there's a type two fence down in that corner, which is, and with the deer fence outside. Oh yeah, okay. I'm happy to start there. Um, and then. No gate at oh, the front. Oh, here it is, right here. Here's, here's the big gate there. Okay. okay. And they've give, given us a couple of options, okay. Angus, go ahead. Um, so is that, I'm, I'm wondering about the, the house that's there. Is there, you know, you wanna have the gate sort of match in the same sort of style as the house. Um, so it's, are there any, are there any house photos? Yeah, up at the top. It's the house that got moved a couple of years ago. It used to be on Ocean. Yeah. Yep. Um, is that? Yeah, right at the, the very top, right top corner. Top right. Yep, that's the house. Yeah. So probably the simpler fence, although um, is that type two fence painted or natural? Uh, we'd have to see on the application. White. So I would be tempted to do the, the gate. Well, I don't know. I'd either do the gate with the white and the pickets that wrap um, that sort of play off the type two fence, but also I would have the type two fence be no more than 36 inches. That design gets awkward after it gets higher than that. It's it's really best at 30 or 32. And um, is, that, is that type two, do you think that that is for the pool? Do you know what I mean, pool protection for the yard? Um, it looks like the only separation to the pool on, so the, let's see, right. on the south side. It has the auto cover. Yeah. Which should satisfy the fencing. The safety thing. Sorry. But I, I do think that the type two fence should be limited to 36. Four feet seems too high for it. Yeah, see, that, that's awkward there. See the type two fence there that is mm -hmm. four feet high? Mm -hmm. It looks more like, um, I don't know, it looks like more like bars on a... <laughs> something it's it, it's too elongated mm -hmm. but other than that I, I appreciate the pool being in the you know as far away as it can get and the equipment being behind a building and behind two fences and yep. uh, I think all that is is sensitive the um you know the the driveway and the apron and all that <clears throat> seems in order and so the, the gate is not right on the front, on the road. It's not on Stone Paste Way. It's, it's back behind the house. That's right. And yep. the function, I guess, is, as Caroline is saying, to protect the pool. So you would open the gate and drive all the way in? When at you the end to... of the season, probably, to, to leave the car in the garage. Oh, also, yeah. the landscapers would need to do it to get in to mow the lawn. Yeah. So this is all parking in here, right? Parking area, you're right. What, what, what's the purpose of the gravel behind the existing garage and guest house? Is that more parking? Maybe they just don't want to maintain it. Rock garden, oh. yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, I mean, that's an explanation. Because it says, what, at the bottom of that, I, I just have a hard time reading right there. Proposed eight six, six foot, foot board fence with gate. With 
eight. Okay. So, so that's why you want to reduce it to four yeah. feet there as well. Well, that six foot board is a different thing. Oh, I yeah, think I think you leave that. It, it, isn't that truly just one of those plain fences? Yeah, I think yeah. so, it's right here. Right there, if the, you, yeah. you just put to block something you don't want to look at. Which is the gravel. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Around. Maybe you put bikes back there. It's just not a part of the garden, I guess. It's a weed but garden. It, yeah. And there's nothing, there's nothing behind it. I mean, it's no. all kind of open land but back what, there. Can I ask what kind of gate that's gonna look like? Is that one of those big looks like a board gate? Yeah, I think it's just you wouldn't notice it particularly. Oh, I see. Okay, it just blends in. All right. Yeah. Um and, and then um, I I, th I think we're looking at uh, parking behind the house. Imagine. <laughs> Yay. This is the team. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. It looks beautiful. Thank you, Caroline. Yeah, I know. I think it will be lovely. Lovely. Okay. And uh, do oh, we nice. have, uh, they <clears> have <throat> presented a couple of different options for the, for that gate. Uh, the one that's to the left of the house, the uh, west of the house. Back, uh, for the for, for that area. And you see, it's painted. Uh, if you move that down again, Rob, it was there was a picture of it pa painted. Option uh, three. Right, right there. Right. See the bottom picture. The yes. bottom right yeah. of the big page. That shows the painted one. Oh. That's what it, that gate looks like. The option two, was it? Um, gotcha. Yep. Paint. And that's probably going to be open a lot of the time, I would assume. I don't think so. I'll close it I would it. like to see that be a little bit lowered, too. That's awfully imposing. Yeah, it looks like the low part of that is four feet. Mm-hmm. It does. Ah. Okay. And then there's the more country one, right? Option two is a more country gate. Yeah, if it had more natural trim on the house, I think that would look better. And also, that's not going to work for keeping anybody out as far as, you know, the, the fencing rule about pools. There would have mm. to be some sort of mesh or something behind, behind mm -hmm. the gate. So we're saying option two is a non-starter. Is that correct? Yes, I think so. I, I believe, uh, yes, that's, that's what I heard. And I, I, I agree. And I personally prefer uh, type two fencing to split rail. Uh, I think either would be appropriate in this particular setting, but split rail doesn't really get the job done for pool fencing anyway, does it? No. You'd have to then put the mash up again. Yeah. Where is the split rail proposed I, for? But I'm trying to find it. Um, I'm unclear on that myself. Is it along the road or something? Let's see. Let's see. Let's go to the road. To the yeah. Raised planting. Uh, over yeah, so it's along the road. Oh. Do we hmm. need? Do we need that? Well, I guess that isn't our. So it would be either a white picket fence, is that correct? Or the split rail? I, I think it looks like they're just proposing these these split rail there. I see. Okay. Yep. I'm I'm a little concerned about um, the sure sort of that. one <clears throat> form of fencing from every page of the catalog. It's like, yeah, let's let's kind of simplify it and go with one kind of fencing. And not introduce too many. I mean, I get the deer fencing. That's one thing that that kind of fades away. But I'd rather not see split rail plus type two. If you know what I mean? You'd like the white picket, Mary? Well, I do. Although honestly, if you have that out on Stone Post Way, that's <laughs> going to get a little fussy too. I I don't I don't think you need it out there. Closer to the house, perhaps, so that it's more of an accessory to the house and to the 
the porch, but it seems a bit much. Is there other split rail along Stone Post Way? I have that, to say I remember it. That's what we don't know. Okay. It, that's a very good point, and I. I don't remember it. I I feel like head that that that's kind of gotten all hedged about down there, and mm -hmm. I I appreciate that they're not doing that. I really yeah. appreciate that, but still in all. And it says existing under the cherry trees. It says it. I just can't read it. Side so shrub existing. shrub bed to be filled in. So they do have. I would say hedge along the road. The cherry trees are toward the house in a stewardia. Yeah. So the question is, do you? I guess, do you need the do split? Need, it, yeah. It, in almost, addition to the edge. It's almost like it's maybe they're trying to keep the cars off it. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary, well, I, if, it's, if, it's, if it's if it's you know I haven't been down there in a while. Uh, it, it's hard to know if if there are other split rails fences around. I mean, if it's something that's there in the adjoining properties, or would that be something to think about? Should we just hold off on the split rail till? Yeah, let's sure. And I'm happy to walk down there if anybody wants to walk this afternoon. Let's walk down there and mm -hmm. uh, just take a look, take a take an inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy to you go know, with I, you. Man. I do agree that that it's a bit much to be having that layered effect of, you know, t 10 feet or 20 feet behind a, one fence is another fence. Yeah. Uh, and and well, within view, there are really three fences. There's the deer fence, the type two fence and the split rail fence all, you know, within view there. And well, and not in view, but also we've got that board fence Talked yeah, behind the pool. And then you've got the big gate, you know, so the entry gate. All of these need to be coordinated. I liked Angus's approval of, I mean, not make it four feet, make it three feet. Don't make it so predominant. And split rail seems excessive. It just seems ornamental for some reason. And who knows, it might be to keep people from parking, par parking there, but but also, um, I don't think that this is a, a code thing for the pool because you could walk onto the porch and then back off the porch behind the, the type two fence. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, think, um, I think that that could be any height and, and is much better 36 inches or lower. Right. I'd agree. <laughs> I think the less is more and shorter is better because they yep. don't need it for the pool protection. Yep. And thank you for the parking behind. That's just lovely. Right, yep. yes. Yeah, please note that. I am please definitely do. noting that. Very nice. It'll be a beautiful property. Very pretty. Great, okay. In my shorthand of my notes, I wrote I wrote down parking. Yay! <clears throat> I'll know what that means later. Okay, uh, let's go now to. Okay, you little mouse. Thank you. I did Okay. Um, Eight grand. Ah. Okay. Oh, oh, great. Eight grand, grand Avenue. Okay. Patina's old house. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm. Uh, A little bit of okay. Uh, 
Are we seeing the GIS map? Yes. Yep. Great. Yes. Okay, good. All right, this is for removing the chimney. Let's see what it looks like. I'm sure it doesn't look like it's in good shape. Ooh, ouch. Wow. <laughs> yeah. The those corners look a bit roughed up, but there aren't like step cracks in it. I don't I don't really see any sort of functional or structural issues with it, really. Yeah. And uh, at first glance, it was like, oh, okay, it's some 50s, you know, chimney, who cares? But the details are very similar to, um, to a chimney that was in one of the underhills uh, on Evelyn Street, and it was, you know, 1880s. This brick looks um, newer, but, but that, that same style existed in that old house, which may have been done in the 30s, uh, which makes it 90 years old, but it was, um, you know, had the same sort of blocky uh, fireplace surround hearth, and then narrows to that like 16 by 16 chimney that is um, so typical of all the smaller cottages out there. Um, I, I would, I'd rather see it stay than go. Does it, does it look to you, Angus, as if it's got a little bit of a lean to it? Uh, it looked to me as if it was sinking on the left-hand side as we were looking at that first picture. My guess is it's the floor leaning more than the fireplace. Well, it does, it does down to the left. Yeah, it, maybe it is the floor because look at, see, they pulled up the floor. Yeah. yeah, that's usually what happens is that the, the best uh, footing is for the masonry. Uh, and this is typical of, you know, the center fireplace houses of 200 years ago, is that everything sort of leans away from it as, um, as the foundations usually don't have as much footing as the, the fireplaces. Mm -hmm. Oh, the house pulls away from the, from the fireplace. Or leans to one side or another. Or leans, or, yeah. Yeah. So interesting, isn't it? I wonder what the square, what was on the square piece over it. Maybe a brass, a brass plaque or something. Yeah, I'm wondering, has it been disconnected through the roof? I, I, well, there is that. Look at that. I'm always for saving chimneys. Um, I think that, but it looks like it's it's pretty shallow. You see all the soot on the outside of the chimney. It looks like a shallow, um, whatever you call it, chimney bed where you put your mm. logs. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm sure it needs to be tuck pointed, cleaned and everything else. What, what do they, I mean, if, if allowed to remove the chimney, what do they want to replace it with? Yeah, electric or a gas fireplace, Mary, right? Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I, it, what's, it, what's it got in there? I mean, what, they don't seem to have a lot of detail. No, there's not. So that project on Evelyn, we ended up doing a, a gas wood stove and mm -hmm. we used the, the chimney for the direct vent uh, situation, but not with one of those splitters that you see on top of the chimney. Uh huh. Yeah. So the chimney would stay on the outside. There'd still be a brick chimney on the outside if that is replaced with the gas. Yeah, well, general. You know, what I was saying was that in, in our situation, we kept all the masonry existing and then just used the hearth for the fire, for the, um, you know, the gas stove. And, and set it right there and then fished the pipe up, up the mm. chimney. It, it, their houses are small though, so it could be for modern living. They aren't- Just, just get rid of it, just space. yeah. buy Use. themselves some space. Right. <clears throat> yeah, we don't, and we don't see, we don't see any detail about that. I, I, I honestly don't care one way or the other. There's another chimney in front of that chimney. There's a looks like a yeah, it looks like a, a chase of some sort. That might actually be an outhouse that has a 
that might <laughs> that might just be a sewer drain sewer thing oh oh i think that might be a water heater or a uh yeah some sort of furnace thing yeah that looks but like that little pot. chimney the little black chimney pot with the red underneath yeah that yeah. oh i think that's it i think that's at uh the d martinos next oh. door yeah okay okay i mean that matches their that matches their chimneys mm -hmm. yeah. i think the two, it would be helpful to have the history on this you know yeah, i think i think that's a great idea i guess um it's uh you know it's what didn't clem reynolds build this i mean it was part of the old scots yeah, yeah. before it, it was, was. Dick. yeah this was the house that bob and elaine used to live in in the summers okay and so it's got some historical integrity to it uh if you know i mean as we get older those things become more historic <laughs> maybe we should have some more information i mean it's it's one of those details that I want to say that in an earlier submission on this, on this same house, there was an earlier submission, and I seem to remember them including that historic detail. However, the person who was submitting that application is not the same as Zoram Molitovich or whatever his name is, who submitted this demo plan. Okay. It looks like they needed a lot of work on that house, doesn't it? Look at the sure roof. does. It needs a ton of work. Yeah. They need to put some floorboards in there. Okay. Um, so what's 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 the consensus? Need well, don't you think we need to know what is they want, we want to do with it when they take it out? I mean, uh, is it just take out for take out reasons or what's incomplete. happening next? I I'd say we say incomplete application. We don't we don't know why we the 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 fireplace is of significant enough historical value. We need to know more about their intentions. All right, great. Thank you very much. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. 21 Bank. 21 Bank. Uh, okay. Saw it there a second ago. There it is. All right. Uh, if you haven't had time to look this over, this is just uh, on the upper left is one of the first submissions. This is my understanding from looking at the drawings. This was the second submission. And now mm -hmm. we have the third over here. I don't know if anybody, if you got a chance to read the comments from the last meeting, but this appears, this newer one appears to be more in. Line. Looks like they're they're regressing. <laughs> so, so there's the west, and that would be the west faces the street, does it not? Bank Street. Yes. What was wrong with the intermediate submission, the, the four windows across in the shed dormer? Could have been the height, Mary. I can't tell whether the new okay. one is the same height. 21 there and 19 yeah, I think there. Was. I think we were looking for a lower. What's that, two inches? Oh, no. Two feet, 24 inches. Which is good. Well, think, it's funny, but the current submission looks higher than the previous. Just in terms of the way one looks at the mass. It's, I think it's the uh, upright window that gives that. Yeah, it's also the fact that the upright window is just plain awkward. Yeah, I don't get it at all. Okay, yeah, hang on I, one second. Uh, I'm sure. going to... I'm going to stop for a second and um, before we get going, I see we have some some other attendance. Uh, I saw anybody, Margaret. Margaret was on earlier. Is there anybody in uh, the public who would like to speak on this before we render our comments? 
Um, I, hi, it's Margaret. I, hi, Margaret. I'm having a good morning. Um, I'm, I keep getting bumped off. My internet is pretty unstable. Uh, but I don't see that this height changed at all because it was 19 feet in the front originally, and then I think 21 in the back, which apparently is just a grade um, change. But certainly, uh, your committee and the HDC um, were suggesting either a story and a half or a story and three quarters, which um, Holly Backus was talking about. But, you know, I think the overall problem is that this is a very picturesque street. Um, a lot of people know this house with the double door and the garden, little garden in the front. Um, and it is, it's character changing. And um, this really is a contributing element in um, not just Codfish Park, but the um, Sconset Old Historic District. Um, and and uh, I really, I really hope that you know, I don't know that there's something that can be done by fits and starts to make this okay. Um, but it's just another example of, um, you know, losses in um, Codfish Park. And I guess the question I would also ask is, what of the existing building is being retained here? All good questions. Yeah, excellent. Retained. Okay. Great. Margaret, while we're here, uh, let me just <laughs> scroll down to give our other public members a chance to have a view here. This is the current submission. Yeah, the the height is looking. No, 18. 18 something, I really can't read it. I really can't read that. No. Looks like, Looks like 19, yeah, 19 and zero. Well, I would say that it's preferable to have shed dormers. Um, that seems to look like less mass, um, but still in all, going back to what Margaret said, this is game changing and it's too bad to start allowing that in fits and starts. It's already. You know, I will say that, I mean, Codfish Park is, I, and I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, that they were added into old historic. Um, I think this should be treated as if it were on Broadway or Shell or Center. Absolutely. And, and um, I don't think we would ever allow a second story on the Maples, for example, or, um, so I, I do think, yes, there are a lot of two-story houses in Codfish Park uh, because they were approved uh, maybe by a different when the when it was not old historic. Um, so is now the time now that it is included in old historic the time to stop putting second floors on uh, the existing one story houses in Codfish Park. Uh, that's um. It's an open ended question I realize, but I think yeah, yeah. it could, could be a question for the. Uh, for the HTC uh, yeah. can enforce that, that it is now included in Old Historic for very good reason. And um, just, a, just a, a, a thinking aloud question. Yep. Because uh, I would say that none of these proposals look that good to me. None of these yeah. submissions. So. They don't, I agree with you. Yep. Especially I mean, look, when you see, look at the, you look, yeah. the tower. I mean, put, yeah. what's wrong with that? <laughs> it's That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is Janet Ballou. Um, I have attended earlier meetings on 21 Bank. and Welcome, I, Janet. Thank you. Hello. 
I um, I just would support Margaret's comments and her questions and the most recent speaker's uh, concerns. Uh, I th think at an earlier meeting, it was voiced that just because second stories had been uh, added to Codfish Park houses in the past isn't a reason to keep doing it. And the fact that it's now part of a historic district in and of itself is excellent reason to perhaps draw the line here. Yeah, exactly. I, this is Mary and I would also just add, what's with that chimney on the back of the house? I mean, that's really awkward. Oh, it's an outdoor fireplace? Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, that looks like an incinerator of sorts. Is that a stairway? What is that? Okay. Um, any other comments? Uh, I, I, I think we've covered it. Uh, anybody else? If not, I want to thank the people who have attended this uh, hearing today. And as we keep saying, you're always welcome and we appreciate your appearance. If there's no other business, I can't seem to get that to stop sharing. So I'm going to go back to the agenda. Excellent. All right, well, we seem to be at the end of our agenda now. Um, if there are no other comments, I'll take a motion for approval of the agenda items as made. So moved. Second. I hear a move, motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank Aye. you very much. Thanks, everybody. I'll take a motion for adjournment. So moved. Thank you. All right, I hear a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And this meeting is adjourned at 11.42. Good Thank job. You, Bob. Thank you, Thanks, Bob. everybody. Yep. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank Bye, you. all. Thanks for the comments.